What's up YouTube? This is N Zero, and I got another Yu-Gi-Oh opening. This time the Kaiba's Collector Box. Uh, I primarily wanted this for the big card, just because I can put it in a frame and probably hang it on my wall somewhere. But uh, this also comes with a Blue Eyes card, uh, three Kaiba versions of the Duels pack, and three Yu-Gi ones, and a, a Kaiba starter deck Reloaded, I think. I think that's the Reloaded one. Uh, but yeah, let's. Uh, open it and see what we get out of it got this at target it's pretty cool i didn't think target had it with the, the amount of sales that are going on and how popular uh, uh, these collector boxes have been so i couldn't find it in like three stores they just had the yugi ones so yeah let's see what we got out of this once I get the plastic off, oh my God, and a, uh, I probably opened this wrong, but oh well, there we go. All right. Okay. Yep, it was the Kaiba deck reloaded. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I mean. I haven't been doing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh collecting as much as I used to. So, uh, here's the Blue Eyes card. I'll open the deck first, but I get everything out of here. Got three Kaiba ones. Got three Kaiba packs. Three Yugi's. And then the card which I will put in a frame and hang on my wall somehow. Uh, don't know where yet, but I'll put it somewhere. I do wish it was either the original art or I want to say it was the tablet art. That would have been really cool. This one is probably my least favorite art, but I'll take it anyway. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I hope they make more of these. Like, I would like to see, like, a Jaden one, a Yusei one. Uh, you can probably skip uh, Stack's Hole, honestly. It'd be cool if they did an Odd Eyes one, too, where you have an Odd Eyes dragon at this size. But, yeah, eh, that's pretty cool. I like the, the big card. Uh, the size of my hand is right here. So, it's pretty much the size of my hand. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll put that right here. Uh, I'll open the structure deck first. Uh, I'm pretty sure you you know what's in here, but just to be sure, or just to make sure, we'll just open it and breeze through the cards quickly. Given that I can open this thing, because the glue is pretty hard on all these Yu-Gi-Oh products. Uh, let's see, you get the old mat, the re the beginner's guide, a deck list, and uh, advice on which ones, which extra cards to get to make your deck even cooler. All right. I gotta fight through this plastic. Ah, Jesus. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> All right, we got a ultimate rare blue eyes card with the tablet, and I believe it comes with a common one. Yeah. See, I would like a big card of this this art just because it it shows off blue eyes much better, and the tablets behind it. So, yeah. So you get two copies of blue eyes, one ultimate rare, and one common. And then you got Kaiba's classic cards. I don't remember him using Aqua Midor. We got Lai Jin, Battle Ox, uh, Octoclops, Luster Dragon, X Head Cannon. Got the Vorse Raider. Don't remember him using Watt Tail Dragon. Uh, got Twin Head Behemoth, Yomi Ship, Kaiser Seahorse, Chaos Necromancer. Pretty good card. Uh, Blade Knight, he looked cool on the show. 
Got the Horus, probably one of my favorite uh, decks to use based around this. Cybernetic Cyclopedian Puppet Plant, pretty good side deck card. Dust Mosquito, Tiger Dragon, Vanguard of the Dragon, Divine Dragon, Apocryph Lift, I think. Interplanetarium, Purpley Thorn, Thorny Dragon. We got Dark Hole, Soul Exchange. He uses this a lot, and on the show, it's completely broken effect. Uh, Rush Recklessly, classic card. Mystic, Mystical Space Typhoon, always a good thing to have. Got Burst Stream of Destruction, Kyber Man used this. Shrink, Shield Crush, Silent Doom. Draconic Tactics, I don't think he used that. We got Shard of Greed, I know that didn't exist. Uh, we got Shadow Spell, I think you can use that. Got uh, Threatening Roar. Widespread Ruin, classic cards, Birthright, and we got Damage Gate, which I think Jack Atlas used. Or uh, that one uh, Dark Signer guy who had the, the, the blue giant, uh, Earthbound Immortal. So that was the deck. Uh, I don't recommend using this as a meta deck. I mean, you can try and uh, utilize the. Uh, Destiny draw every turn thing, but uh, yeah. All right, we're gonna open Yugi's up first, and then we'll save Kaiba's for last since his, it was his collector's box. So let's see what we get out of these. I think all of them are hollow. Nope, never mind. We got Brain Control, Buster Blader, Life Force Sword, Spellbinding Circle, and a rare Dark Magician. I like this. I could have used a big uh, Dark Magician card. Uh, Buster Blader. I like the how that deck runs. The Buster Blader deck. I've been playing it on, uh, I've been playing it on Legacy of the Duelists, that, uh, that, that game for all consoles. I, I do wish they made a Yu-Gi-Oh! Online again. That was a pretty good game, until people broke it. Got Red Gadget, Brain Control, Stronghold Moving Fortress. We got, uh, the original anime art of it. Not the original polymerization, but the original art that was on the show before polymerization was made. So I think that this was, pr I think I like this art better just because, I mean, hell, it's uh, polymerization and it's the classic Yu Gi Oh art of it. And then Card of Sanctity, which does not have the broken card, card effect. So uh, let's put uh, that polymerization up front. All right, last UV one. All right, we got Yellow Gadget, Catapult Turtle, Stronghold Moving Fortress again, Black Luster Soldier, and Black Luster Ritual. That's pretty cool that I got both in one go. Uh, really wish rituals were in the ritual monsters were in the extra deck, but uh. Oh well. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I got both the black luster cards in one in one pack. So I think that's pretty cool. Now for the Kaiba one. <clears throat> Alright, we got Hitotsumi Giant, Flute to Summoning Dragons. I kinda needed that. Soggy the Dark Clown, classic card. Uh, White Dragon Ritual, and Petten the Dark Clown. Which I prefer that clown because he has an effect that brings out more copies of him. And he's good for synchroing. Maybe for Xyz. Alright, another Soggy the Dark Clown. Cloning, Lajin, Alternate Art. Uh, Magic Reflector and Vorse Raider Ultimate alternate art. So, yeah. <clears throat> the Lodge Inn art ult alternate art is pretty cool. Uh, got Judge Man, classic card. Interdimensional Matter Transporter. Z Metal Tank. We got. XYZ Dragon Cannon, which is pretty cool. 
And I think this is the alternate art one. So, yeah. I tried to play this. It was extremely hard, especially with the whole union thing. Uh, it's hard to believe that's still a thing. But I guess people still use this because of the ABC deck. So, and we got a different Dimension Dragon. That's pretty cool. So I got two hollows out of the six packs of uh, Duel's Pack, which were these two. And, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, I would say that's it for this opening. I think this is a pretty well pickup. Uh, I would suggest picking one of these up, especially if you want the the big blue eyes card. Because I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to find a frame for this one and the dark magician uh, big card, and then I'm gonna put it on my wall somewhere. So yeah, uh, yeah, you get a lot of cards out of these, a lot of classic cards. Uh, some of them are useful, some of them are worthless, but uh, it's cool to have the nostalgia factor with Yu-Gi-Oh! Especially with meta decks changing every day, and yeah. I remember when Glad Beast ruled the world. Good times. Especially when I destroyed them. So, uh, yeah, that would, that'll be it for this opening. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you on the next one, whenever that will be.